Hello everybody and I hope you're having a fantastic day and in this video I'm going to be talking about something a little different. I'm going to be going over plus values. I'm going to be going over how they're useful, where you can get them, and I'm going to be talking about how you can um, organize them on your weapons. Well, not your weapons, but your gear, so that way they look a lot more cleaner and they're a lot more understandable to read and what's not. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of you out there just leave your plus values as a big 198 plus and personally like you can read that right but i personally think it's just a lot better with this because it's a lot more readable seriously i, I don't know why you do that unless you like reading like you're trying to like train your brain for like uh, subtitles like english subtitles when you watch anime that's the only reason i could see is like you're trying to train your brain for that i learned that i can't see the purpose in like actually doing that whatsoever so i'm going to be showing you that near the end of the video but anyways let's actually get into it okay so plus values are absolutely the most uh quickest but they're the most like least efficient way to actually obtain gear score what plus values do is plus values go on each and every individual uh gear piece that you have you've obtained the issue with the plus values though is um unison leaks an ever-changing game and there's always new new costs coming out like every couple months which is annoying but yeah that's how they do it and what's not so eventually the stuff that you have max plus value will eventually get replaced by better stuff regardless and continuing on so forth and so on from there and what's so not so yeah that's pretty much how it works out so you can see right here only one of them has plus values the other ones don't so yeah that's pretty much how that works out plus values okay so plus values are again another way you could obtain gear score they're going to be added to one piece of whatever gear you have them for whether it's monsters i have one right here aquarius got 99 uh you got weapons or what's or not weapons armors whatever they are here's how they work out each stack of a plus value, right, if I could show you right here, I'm going to go to augment so I can actually show you legitimately no BS or anything like that. Okay, so we got right here, as you can see, if I attach this one, this one's going to increase the main slot. You can see right there the base value is going to increase. If you want to do the math, you want to pause the video, it's by 5. It is legitimately by 5. As you can see right there, the maximum plus values I can add on anything is 99 for each slot so you do the math uh five times 10 equals 50 so for each 10 right it's going to be 50 and considering that you could do it 99 times let's do 50 times 10 50 times 10 equals 500 but considering that again it's going to be 99 out of 100 it's technically 495 you're getting each time like each time you max out both slots in like your weapons right if you're like an archer perhaps like if you're a lancer or a mage you really only got to go for like the magic attack or like the attack slot depending on the class and the weapons but like as an archer myself if i were to go for both right which i technically both will help you in the long run so having them equal out is it's going to help as an archer because you use both me as an archer maximizing both of them one of them will increase by 495 just the base the base stats of the weapon if i plus value and if i max it out using plus values one slot will be increased by 495 and then the next will be by 495 again if you don't believe me you could do the math each time you add one it's going to be five if you do five times ten that's going to be 50 and technically i'm not doing 50 times 100 but pretty much you get the concept hopefully by 50 times 10 equals 500 except you're taking one off so it's 495 so yeah that's pretty much what they give you and that's the base value that's just the base value we still got the skill tree and then we got the zeno over here the zeno's weapons they give percentages so the higher the stats of it plus the plus values they're going to be getting the more percentage they're going to be giving off so they're going to be giving off even more gear score not just thanks to the like a uh, flat stat but also thanks to the percentages that you're going to be having on your skill tree and your Zeno weapon, whatever it is, and what so not. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the cover, plus values and their usefulness and everything around that. Okay, so plus values, as you've seen me show you, can be obtained 
through tapsies but not just tapsies they can be obtained through anything that has as you can see right here if i were to, to attach this one as well it also allows me to do that so the plus values carry over from gear tapsies are just the uh, stereotypic or main way to um, pass over plus values. They're not the only way to pass over plus values. You can use other stuff. You could use any gear that has plus values and carry over the plus values. Now, I don't recommend obviously throwing SSR gear into SSR gear just because it has plus values. I absolutely don't recommend that. But if it's SR or lower, absolutely. There's no reason not to because. It's SR or lower, you're not going to be using it. SSSRs can go to URs, and eventually you're going to be using it. Regardless of whether it's really low cost or not, um, you could use it for elementals. So, there's that. So, yeah. Um, Tapsies are not the only way. Anything that has plus values can be carried over to another gear piece because from their plus values and be added on those plus values from the gear that augmented if you get what i'm saying here uh let, let me let me cut what i'm trying to say here pretty much this has uh something plus values i throw on a gear extra one plus value just got augmented and it's an extra one plus value on this one so yeah that's pretty much how that works out as to where you could get them i pretty much just explain that to be fairly honest like low key so anywhere you can obtain normal gear you could technically obtain them the quickest way being the friend point spawn over here now the quickest absolutely quickest ways to do this is absolutely these uh vent box spawns they come out with with the tapsies and what's so nice you can see that's 73 right there for each tapsy or they come out with like uh, recommended packs where they have like a cheat sheet for like the heavenlies and earthlies that right there is pretty dang deadly right there because that's like uh, i think like 10 or 99 plus values on each of those depending on what they are so yeah the SSR ones are going to have 99 plus values. The SRs are going to have 10 plus values each. So those are by far the quickest way. But the most quickest way as a free to play is through the friend point spawn. You will get plus values through the friend point spawn. Uh, less, a lot less than you will more. But if you got enough friend points, if you got a lot of friend points, you're going to be getting a lot of uh, plus values. They're going to be like maybe a maximum of two. But you're going to be getting plus values regardless. You can do normal quests. You can spawn. Uh, not spawn. But you can farm normal quests till your butt falls off. And get uh, plus values that way. But yeah. Anything that you could do for normal gear or tapsies. Legitimately you could do the ad up here. They have it like when you go to the lobby right. They have like an ad up here with the TVs. Um, you could also get tapsies from there. There's a chance. It's not guaranteed. So yeah. The, pretty much anything you could get tapsies in. Or you could get normal or, or rare or super rare gear gear in including treasure spawns and what's so not i don't recommend them considering they're gems and gems are not easy to obtain and gems are going to be like the main way you're going to be getting like a lot of gear score um you can obtain them pretty much any way possible that you can obtain uh gear and what's so not like it doesn't have to be like any type of specific gear just gear out there so yeah that's pretty much covering that okay so the next thing is a lot of you seem to not know how to rearrange your plus values so that way it makes it look a lot more cleaner i'm not gonna say this is needed it's absolutely not needed but um i'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to go on like have this completely unchecked and what's so not and yeah i personally think it's a lot easier to just do it this way than that way so all you gotta do is pretty much as you can see how my plus values are um more organized it shows you the uh, bottom and the top one, like mint, like right off the bat. Like you don't have to go look at the stats and then determine which one is which based off the stats. You legitimately can see the progress you're making for both the bottom and the top sl slots. So that is very, very nice. All you gotta do to make that happen is go to your uh, little door thing right here. Go to other, go to options and turn on the plus value you, all you gotta do is turn on the plus value and you are good to go so yeah that pretty much covers it for this video i hope this helped out and i'll see you in the next video this is the azeroth i'm out Peace.